You're very weird, lady. You know what? It's that week between Christmas and New Year's, and I'm always weird the week between Christmas and New Year's. Hey everybody, welcome back to my world, and no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. I hope uh, you guys had good holidays. By the time this posts, it will probably be 2024. We will have made it to 2024, which seems like a huge accomplishment. Shouldn't be this hard, but it is. And I would like to say a huge thank you to the folks at Rainbow High for sending me the entire collection of the new Rainbow World Rainbow High dolls, I guess. I guess we're in transition between Rainbow High and maybe Rainbow World is the, the idea that it's going to be expanding, that we're going to have something called Storywood, I believe, which is more of like a fantasy component. I'm kind of hoping that that's where Poppy went and that's why she's not in this set. But anyway, um, so thank you very much to Rainbow High and MGA for sending me these dolls for free. Today I am going to be unboxing Ruby Anderson, who was one of my favorites uh, in the first wave. So, um, you know, I'm curious to see what I think about her in this new... You know, I've been trying to figure out, like, how in my head to explain what's been done to them what's been done what's been done to them um and i feel like they but we have the the juniors right like we have them as tweens but it almost feels like this it feels like let's just say that the rainbow high gang as we knew them were more like juniors in high school and then this Rainbow High is like them as freshmen, even though they're actually freshmen in the story when it starts and they were all right. But anyway, like I'm trying to figure out how to mentally gymnasticize myself into understanding how these are the same characters. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm doing like they're just younger, you know, they didn't quite have the whole, you know, haute couture thing going on yet. Um, if you want to learn about how the slime situation works, please check out my Skylar video because I'm not doing that again. And for parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cool people who buy dolls for kids and themselves, want to make it clear that if you've been buying Rainbow High dolls for someone, these dolls are different. It does not mean that they won't like them necessarily, but maybe find out what it was that they liked about Rainbow High. If it was, you know, multiple outfits and super high fashion, this might not be it anymore. If you're buying for younger kids, this might be right, right on the line for them, right, might hit just right. Um, because these are, have been designed with a younger audience in mind. So we're not getting the super complex, you know, nod to high fashion fabrics and looks where people be like, oh, that's a Balenciaga. I never knew, right? But um, it, now we're getting something that's more youthful, that includes making slime. There's a plastic pet. That's where we're going now, okay? So let's take a look at Ruby. And um, I was going to like all Christmas week as I sat across the room over there diamond painting and looking at my dolls I was like you know what I should do is I should get the original of each doll and then have them in the video and I did not do it and I honestly I do not see where Ruby is right now in this room it's possible Ruby's not in this room Ruby might be upstairs in which case, yeah, it's not gonna happen. So that's not gonna happen. I'm sure other people have done it. Um, I know quite a few people have uh, released their videos. Um, Max and Sang from Doll Chat have a really good video about it. Um, Elvira has a really good video about her thoughts on the changes to the line. So there's a lot out there. Um, and I'm like, where I'm at with this, I'm looking for my glasses, they're right here, is that I wish they didn't have to change, but I understand, you know, doll lines get like three to five years usually before they get some sort of a reboot, either a hard reboot or a soft reboot, um, you know, if they're popular. 
and uh, sometimes sometimes the reboot is great and sometimes it's not and and a lot of times though um, doll collectors do not celebrate the reboots we're I don't know we take our dolls very personally <laughs> and um, you know and also I'm kind of like well, I have two brains. Sometimes I swear I have two brains. So on the one hand, I'm really not good with change. On the other hand, I'm really great with change. <laughs> I swear to God, that is a true statement that I just made to you. I swear that I absorbed my twin in the womb and I've actually got two brains because I really do not like change, yet at the same time when, when change happens, I'm like, ooh, what's in it for me? Maybe this is gonna be exciting. Maybe I'm gonna like it. But at the same time, I'm like, no, I hate change. It is so hard sometimes to be in here with me. So anyway, so as much as I don't like the change, I also kind of like the change. Mm. So that's where I'm landing with this. I miss the high fashion. I miss the awesome outfits, the crazy wonderful shoes. I miss that for sure. But I don't hate these. I do not hate this girl. I dig her. And as I said in my Skylar video, so here's all the other stuff. I just have to dig out her shoes. You get this shaker thing to make your slime in. You get this pet here that you could store the slime in. It does thank God still come with a stand. Hopefully we can keep the stand. I was afraid we were gonna lose stands in favor of plastic pet that no one, but maybe someone child wanted. Um, so I'm really glad we got to keep the stands because stands are very important. Um, I just need to get her sneakers out. Um, I still have blue glitter all over this side of the room from Skylar, so I am not touching this 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 pouch that has the glitter in it because that was just catastrophic. <laughs> I'm gonna have blue glitter like all year. Skylar's gonna stay with me all year. Actually, Skylar's been on my desk the whole time since I opened her because I really do like her. And I didn't like Skylar before, so I find that interesting. And also, eh, eh, I'm trying not to not to have to stop recording to get these shoes out, and I'm just not sure that's gonna work for me. Oh wait, I might. I might have gotten it. So, um, yeah, I'm not gonna put the slime in her shoes, but that's why the bottoms come off. And uh, if I had never seen Rainbow High before, you know, the way it was, Rainbow High and Shadow High, if I had never seen those dolls before, and these dolls came out, and they, I didn't realize this is still stuck on her, and, uh, you know, and these dolls came out, I would have been like, oh, those dolls are really cool. And that's how I'm handling this situation. Um, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that maybe this Storywood thing is where we get more complex fashions, but oh, I don't think so. I think we're probably going to end up with unicorns of some kind. Not that I mind unicorns. Love me a good unicorn. Just, um, I'm thinking like maybe some of the Dream Ella, uh, concept art might be reborn. I don't know that or anything. I'm just making, making this shit up as I go along. So please don't, I am not, in this case, I am not speaking for the brand. I am not an authority in any way. I'm just making shit up. Also, totally unrelated to this, MGA, and I'm wondering if this is part of it, is really pushing on Bratz now. They've just re-released a bunch of Bratz, and I actually bought one um, because I thought it was really, really cool. And they also uh, re-released the Bratz Babies, and I thought the Bratz Babies were so freaking adorable. I loved those movies, so I got one for myself. I'm trying not to do the, like, oh, I need them all. Um, so I ordered Dana... And, um, and then the Bratz baby I ordered was Chloe because Jade was sold out. Uh, so, um, anyway, I think maybe that's where the fashion and edginess is going to come from, from MGA in their doll lines. And over here, we're, we're going to have the cuter, more childlike stuff. And I don't hate that. I, I can live with it. Okay, so let's talk about Ruby's hair. 
Ruby's hair is wonderfully crimped. There is a lot of gel product in here. And so once kids start to play with it, she does come with a comb. It's probably gonna get a little frizz. You know, that happens when you crimp. Crimping, crimping is a thing that can frizz up your hair. Um, let me put on my glasses so I can actually see the screen so I can see what you're seeing. So here is her face. This is my biggest issue with this reboot was the decision to glitter almost the whole face. You notice how they didn't get it up to her brow. Um, I would have loved the glitter if it just stayed like across their nose, almost like they had glitter freckles. Um, but I love her. We've still got the eyelashes. Thank you, God. She still has good eye makeup. Her lips are cute. Love the little bit of teeth. Love the hair. The hair is still fun to play with. I'm actually glad she doesn't have the hat because I didn't like the hat. I really struggled with, with the hat. I always struggle with hats on dolls. So I really struggled with Ruby's hat. Um, this outfit is very reminiscent of, of her original. Um, and, you know, we've got the, uh, you know, grunge era, which I was in college for the whole grunge thing. Yes, I was. Um, you know, with this, it's not really a shirt. I really wish that at some point they would make actual flannel shirts and tie them around their waists. That's never gonna happen, right? never gonna happen for me <sighs> life is hard and then this this skirt is you know it's cool with its kind of I always say holographic and then people are like that's not what that is so I don't know what that is um you know the similar red bustier with the sparkle t-shirt on and then she's got these really you know kind of uh, economical boots because <laughs> because what you're supposed to do like the big ones is that the boots the bottoms of the boots come off and you can fill them with slime or glitter or whatever you want and put them back on and that is a uh a feature that they brought in from the original poopsie slime rainbow high dolls oh she's way over there and i'm too i'm too lazy to lean so we did lose wrist articulation um, and, uh, we do not have any foot articulation. Um, we still have elbows, shoulders, knees. Um, there's nothing here. The head, it's still, I think it's pretty much the same. Um, and if I remember the first wave of Rainbow High Dolls, didn't they have like shitty head articulation? Am I just making that up? I might just be making that up. That happens sometimes when you get old, you remember things differently than they really were. All, were. And um, the biggest change from, and this might not be the biggest change for anybody else, to me is their hands. These hands look like children's hands. You see the little dimples? And somebody, I can't remember who you were, you commented in my last video about how like you have dimples in your hands even though you're an adult. Um, and I think that was because of um, it might have been a connective tissue disorder. So um, I happen to think dimples in the hands are adorable on anyone, um, but I do associate them with children. So I thought that it was really interesting that those are the hands they went with for these dolls. So she's got like this kind of makeup on, she's wearing these shoes, but she's young enough to still have these little dimpled hands, and it makes me want to go, where the hell are your parents? But, uh, <laughs> but not really, um, because I can remember being, uh, let's see, how old was I when I started sneaking wearing makeup? I was about maybe 11-ish. I mean, I, st I wore makeup from the time I could figure out how to get into my grandmother's or my mother's makeup and put it on. Um, and then I had a cousin who was an Avon person, and so I got lots of samples from her. So my childhood was very filled with me doing lipstick and eye makeup. And I never had mascara. I think they were afraid I would poke my eye out, but I was never allowed to wear it outside of the house. But I was always into makeup. 
and uh, but I started wearing it outside the house without my mom knowing it when I was like 11, maybe almost 12 years old. And my mom worked. So I would do the thing where like I would put it on like in the morning in the playground at school and just some eyeshadow, really. It was not a big deal. Just some eyeshadow and blush and lip gloss. But it was very subversive for me. Catholic school, putting on eyeshadow. And um, <laughs> God, they should make a move me of my life. It would be so funny. <laughs> I look back at me sometimes and I'm like, oh, child, what were you doing? And uh, I had black nail polish because I was the only person who had black nail polish and I loved Kiss. And uh, this is rambling. Grandma's telling a rambling story. But then one day, I forgot to wash it off as soon as I came home. And my mom came home from work and saw, and for some reason I was wearing like a brick, almost this color, honestly. I was wearing like a brick red eyeshadow that I had grabbed somewhere and thought it was cool. And admonition to go scrub my freaking face. And, uh, and then I had to give all my makeup to her. And I was punished. I would like to say that that chastened me and I stopped wearing makeup, but it did not. And by the time I was in high school, she had lost complete and total control of my makeup situation. And it got really, it became a thing, especially eyeliner. So anyway, that's my complete digression to having little kid hands, but a full face of makeup. Also, has anybody been watching Glow Up on Netflix? I had watched the first season and then lost track of it. My husband and I have just binged seasons five, four, and three, like in the last week. We're obsessed with Glow Up. So anyway, that's the story on Ruby Anderson. Are you any relation to, to Thomas Anderson? You're a very weird lady. You know what? It's that week between Christmas and New Year's, and I'm always weird the week between Christmas and New Year's. It's like, it's like time stands still, you know? And I get a little weird. Okay, can I just go hang out with Skylar now? Totally. Totes. Okay. Bye. Nice to meet you. She's going to go hang out with Skylar. I'm going to stop this and open another doll. Well, I'm going to stop this, start a new one, open another doll, and keep going for as long as I want. It might be two videos. It might be ten videos. One never knows anymore with me. Thank you so much for watching. I really do love you guys, and I love reading your comments, and I love the way you guys support me. I also want to say a huge thank you to the Doll Awards, who gave me a special recognition, a Spotlight Award, and it felt like a little bit of a Lifetime Achievement Award because I'm old, and I've never won an award. <laughs> Elvira's editing this right now, and she's like, Doll! Oh! Um, no, but it was very, 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 very sweet, and... Um, I really, uh, it means a lot to me that so many young doll collectors um, kind of, you know, listen to me and that you guys remember me from when you were kids is very, very sweet. And for those of you who are all wondering, my son Caden's great. He's doing great. He's happy. He's healthy. He's living his life as a private citizen and loving it. Um, and I will be forever grateful to him for... 11 and a half years ago saying, why don't we start a YouTube channel and talk about our doll collection? Thank you, Caden, because you gave me something. You gave me something that's helped me through a lot of tough times and uh, incidentally has helped other people. So it's kind of miraculous. I'm done now. I'm really going to say goodbye. Thank you so much. I love you all so much. And I will see you hopefully again real soon. Happy New Year.